Hello, welcome to your video on cylinders. We will be talking about surface area and volume. Um, by the end, you will be able to find surface area and volume for any cylinder. Before we can do that, though, we need to know what we're talking about. Um, the first is a cylinder. It is a three-dimensional shape made up of two circles as the bases and a rectangular, which is called the lateral. Um, and I will show you a picture of that in just a minute. Um, more specifics on that. Surface area is the sum of the areas of the bases and lateral faces of a three-dimensional figure. Um, in other words, it is the wrapping paper. Okay, if you were to wrap something up, okay, that would be the surface area. Um, for example, here is an image of a flattened out circle. The surface area is what I'm coloring in. Okay, It is the area of both circles and the lateral, which is the rectangle. Um, surface area. The formula for that is your um, lateral area plus your two bases. And I'm actually going to have you write it the other way around. Um, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to say 2B or 2 times B plus your lateral area. And we'll talk about that more specifically. Um, and then we have volume. Volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill up a three-dimensional figure. Um, when we're talking about cubic units, okay, if you think about a little cube, um, it is a one by one by one. In other words, the height is one, the length is one, and the width is one. Um, and volume is saying how many of those little cubes fill up that three-dimensional figure. Um, because that's what it's talking about, it will be in units cubed or to the third power. The formula for volume is V equals B times H. Um, and please notice it is a capital B because we're talking about the area of the base times the height. Um, and we will talk about that more specifically. All right, um, this is what I want to talk to you first. Um, when we are finding um, volume and surface area of a cylinder, um, Obviously, you know that this is the radius and that this is your diameter. Um, what we do also know is that this part around the circle is called your circumference. Um, and that's not new to you. That's your circumference, your perimeter around. Um, what That is the same as the length of the rectangle um, because if you were to roll up that rectangle around the circle it would match. Um, so the same with this side, this is the circumference of this circle right here. Um, so that is your circumference which you remember is pi times diameter or it can also be written as two of your radius times your pi because there are two radii in one diameter. Um, then we have the last thing here is the height, uh, however tall your um, rectangle is. So we're going to use that to explain why we have the formulas we do. The first one is volume. Volume equals your area of your base, which is why it's a capital B, times the height. Um, and so we do know volume, we're filling up, and we have to fill up the area of the base first. Um, the area of a base of a cylinder is a circle. We know the area of a circle. That is pi times r squared. Okay, that whole thing. And then we're going to um, put multiply it by h as well. Um, so that's the volume formula for a cylinder, and you can even break it down further by saying pi times r times r times h. So just being aware of that. Um, the other formula you can use is surface area. This one is a little bit longer. Um, it does take up more space. So surface area, um, what I had mentioned previously is that it's 2 
times the base, again, capital B, plus, oops, plus your lateral area. And I'm going to explain what that means. Um, if you look at the picture, this is your lateral area. Um, in other words, the area of your rectangle for a cylinder. Um, so what I'm going to do then is break this apart. We know base, okay? We know that the base is a circle and we have two of them. That's why the number two is being multiplied by the base. Um, so we have two times our base, which is a area of a circle, which is pi times r times or, sorry, I'll just do r squared. Okay, plus we have the lateral area, and lateral area, like I talked about, is the length times the width of that rectangle. Now, we did learn, though, that that, um, that width, or that length, however you want to look at it, it doesn't really matter, um, that this part going across here is the same as the circumference. So we can actually say this is plus C, circumference, times your height. Because the, the um, length and width is the same thing as height. Um, your width can be easier than your length is your circumference. And we all know from the earlier that your circumference is pi times diameter. And then you just got to tack on the times the h. Um, so there is your whole formula. Um, please note, though, that this pi times diameter um, can also be written in terms of um, radius because you can have pi times 2 radius, which will give you that diameter because you multiply by 2 and that gives you your diameter. So you could do it that way as well, just something to notice. All right, let's do a couple practice problems here. Um, we need to find the volume and the surface area. So we'll do volume first. Volume, like I said, is 3.14 times r squared times h. So we're just going to drag and drop. 3.14 times the radius is halfway, which means it's 5. So 5 squared times our height, which is 21. Order of operations, you have to do the squaring first, times 25, times 21, and then obviously you can go ahead and use a calculator, and you will end up with 1,648 and a half feet cubed. Um, because we're talking about volume, that's how many of those little baby cubes can fit in there. That's why we're to the third power for our label. All right, then we need to do the same thing for surface area. Surface area's formula is a little bit longer. We have 2 times 3.14 times r squared, and then adding 3.14 times diameter times height. It's a little bit longer, but that's okay. Here we go. Use what we know. 2 times 3.14 times radius, which is 5, so times 5 squared, plus 3.14 times our diameter, which we know is 10, times our height, which is 21. Um, now, what I'm going to recommend you do is chunk it, because this will get a little bit messy. Um, let me rewrite it one more time, though. 3.14 times, because we know 5 squared is 25. All right, so now you're going to want to chunk it. Um, and what I mean by that is you're going to take the first half, so the stuff leading up to the addition sign, and then the stuff, stuff after, you're going to chunk it and do it one at a time. So in my calculator, I'm going to put 2 times 3.14 times 25 equals, and that will give me an answer of 157. And then add, and then again on my calculator, I'm going to clear it out, and then 3.14 times 10 times 21. And that will give me 
an answer of 659 and 4 tenths. And then I'm going to take and add those two together to give me my answer. My answer is 816 and 4 tenths feet squared. Squared is the label because surface area, like wrapping paper, it is flat. It is two-dimensional. So we're squaring it. Uh, you will also see problems like this um, where they just give you information. They don't have a picture. Um, you will always be given either radius or diameter, one or, the other, one or the other, and then you will always be given height in order to find volume and surface area. Um, so given this information, we're going to put what we know in. Radius is pretty easy. That's 5 inches because it's half of your diameter. Diameter goes all the way across. Um, to find volume, going back to that formula, 3.14 times radius squared times height. Again, this chunk right here is our base, which is our circle, area of our circle, times our height. Um, and that will be 3.14 times radius, 5 squared times height is 14. So we have 3.14 times 25 times 14. Using your calculator, you get an answer of 1,099. And then you're talking about inches cubed there for your answer. Then we need to find surface area using our formula. Surface area equals 2 times, because we have two circles, and the area of the circle is 3.14 times radius squared, plus our lateral area, which we talked about is pi times our diameter because that's um, circumference and then times our height. So we're going to use that formula, put in what we know, 2 times 3.14 r was 5 squared plus 3.14 times diameter is 10, height is 14. Um, now we'll kind of want to chunk it out a little bit. I guess I can write one more step out. 2 times 3.14. 5 squared is 25. Five to, that's 5 times 5. Alright, now I want to chunk it. So I'm going to do this half and then this half and then put it together. So in calculator, go ahead and do this too. You can feel free. 857 plus 439 and 6 hundredths gives you a final answer of 596 and 6 tenths inches squared. Alright, it is your turn. Please find the volume, surface area, radius, diameter, and height. Get using the given picture. Uh, go ahead and make sure you're showing all of your work. You cannot, 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 cannot just have answers. You have to show your work on this stuff, all of your work, um, just like we did in those examples. Um, and then check in with me to see if you did it right. All right, here are your answers. Um, for the surface area, I put in orange what the two steps are that are added together to find your total answer. Um, so if you showed your work, which you should have, you should be able to see where, if, if you went wrong, where you went wrong. Um, if you have questions, make sure you bring them to class, write them down in your notes page so you don't forget to ask. Alright, this is the end. As you see, there's a flag in the corner. Um, you need to copy that flag down and put it right next to the word summary on your notes. Thanks for watching.